film starts with that we don't know where we are and nobody knows who he is and uh, and, and what's going on, right? So, uh, and we try to discover what happened and with us, the, the audience. A lot of the fun of the, the characters is obviously these characters we learn early on in the film that the characters seem to have reason to know each other right. but we don't know how they know each other and through the course of the movie their interrelationships are revealed. You start any movie in a in a mass grave it throws up a huge amount of questions for your audience straight away and then us stumbling into the story at the same time as the audience, you know, the, the really fun thing is there's a real shared experience between the characters in the movie and the experience of watching it. What was attractive about the script was that you're left guessing at every turn, every page is interesting, every character is interesting. What is interesting for me is the, is the fact that we don't know and the audience doesn't know either and that's like a journey we all take together. It's sort of about the advancement of science and, and how things can go too far. The characters are six incredibly strong, independent characters thrown into a situation together. They obviously don't remember why they're there or what's going on. So out of that, I think you get quite extreme versions of who these people are, which I think is really interesting. A guy wakes up in a pit, doesn't know why he was there, doesn't know what he's doing, meets five other characters, who have the same problems, chaos ensues. It's a character drama. I think that's what the actors have been excited to play and I think um, you're gonna care about all these characters. They are all by themselves, so where, where are they supposed to turn for help besides each other? We sort of wake up in this house and we don't know who we are. And I guess for me, the, something, something that I've always been really interested in is personality-wise, you know, do you pick your personality? If, you, if that was taken away from you, if you lost your memory, are you still the same person? I feel like there's something really interesting about when you strip away all the baggage that people have picked up through their lives, when you take away all the memories and all the sort of things that have forged their personality through their lives and they, you, you strip it all away. So here's people, they wake up and they've got no memory of anything. They don't know who they are. They don't know what they like, what they don't like, all of these things. You know, how much of their personality is based on their kind of primal instinct, on what they're naturally drawn to do, on their ingrained morals. In talking to Gonzalo when he when he was you know uh, working on the film he would say there's nothing scarier than losing your mind and I think that plays into this and it's a true statement I think we both had quite a clear idea of what the character was was going to be like um, particularly in the sense of the fact that he doesn't remember who he is and he starts having these flashbacks of things that he's done which don't seem good at all and so the audience is kind of traveling with the character trying to work out who he actually is and essentially is he a good man or a bad man um, and that's kind of the journey that the character goes on and the audience goes along that journey with the character.